finally, a response from the man himself over this whole lawsuit drama. Keep watching to find out what Travis Scott has to say. Hey guys, I'm Chanel Herlin, and not so long ago, I told you about Travis Scott being sued from an entertainment company for just not showing up for a booked performance. Remember? Well, to find out what he has to say this time, subscribe to our channel. So just to remind you, Travis was sued for cancelling a booked concert, which was scheduled just two days after Kylie gave birth to baby Stormy. I can totally understand the disappointment from the company who booked him and all the fans who were excited to see him when he just didn't show up. However, on his side, I agree that family comes first. I mean, his child was born literally two days prior. On the other hand, I know as parents, they would have predicted the birth date and maybe he shouldn't have scheduled a show so close to the predicted date. That was a rookie error for sure. So Travis was sued and now he has filed a countersuit and claims he axed the show because the company failed to provide transportation to get him to the event. Travis's party has said, quote, rather than suing, these so-called promoters should have apologized and taken responsibility for their inability to provide the agreed upon transportation. Okay, just say you didn't show up because your child was born. That has a lot more substance rather than you cancelled because they didn't organize you a car to the event. Or am I being too harsh? Do you guys agree with me or is this excuse pretty lame? The firm continued to say, quote, Travis would have preferred to resolve the failures of the promoters privately and cooperatively. The election to go public has left Travis no option other than to seek the balance of the fees owing. This company did pay Travis $150,000 upfront for this gig he didn't even attend. How can he actually take that money and be okay with himself? I highly doubt this guy needs an extra $150,000. He is not desperate for money. I think he should just do the right thing and give the money back. You didn't perform, Travis. Let me know if you think his argument is valid or if he should give the money back to these promoters and not seek the balance. In the bigger picture, this is no loss for Travis. It's a loss for the company and not showing up because there wasn't a car waiting for you is a pathetic excuse. I like you, Travis, but this isn't a cool move. For more entertainment news, subscribe to our channel.